Hey everyone, Soul here, and welcome to my run of the challenge quest that debuted with the newest batch of Heretics. And this one for this comp that I'm running is genuinely difficult because each character is impaired in some way. Penelo does not have her LD, uh, and uh, of course not doesn't have her LD extension, but she is fully built aside from that. Ultimisha does not have her character boards. Her Muhammad boards aren't done for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, and she doesn't have her LD. And then Palum, the curious case of Palum, my lord. So he does not have his 35 CP, and his EX, his summon boards are actually done, no character boards, but his EX is 0 out of 3 base, not even EX+. plus. So this is going to be something. I actually managed to clear this off camera, so I'm going to try and recapture this on camera, which I'm sure will go just swimmingly. Uh, Odin is the summon. Let's do this. Now, I am bringing Rem as the call because, God, this stage is such a troll with um, the eight, the framed HP poison on um, the final wave because of the robot. So having a way to do some emergency healing, uh, just in case I need it, is going to be very helpful. So this first wave here, uh, these enemies, oh my god, these, these lizards... What they will do with this all attack here is they will grant themselves a bunch of brave and then uh, they will um, raise their defense. Their defense skyrockets. The only way to make it go back down to normal is to break them. And while they're also in this aura, they also do additional HP damage as well. So if I'm not careful, Palum or Ultimisha can just get ganked right away. Let's see. <laughs> and so I, I really do have to be careful with how I do things here. Oh, he's jumping right up. Well, let's do it then. Now, Palum actually hits pretty damn hard, all things considered. For him being as gimped as he is in terms of passives and such, uh, and, you know, and, and his EX being base, he actually does pretty decent damage on his dual casts. I'm was considering building Palum, uh, getting his LD later on, Seeing how he's performing here. Now, granted, of course, he does have synergy. I understand that. I'm not blind to that fact. But seeing how he's performing here, it makes me cautiously optimistic that Palum will continue to impress. His LD does look really, really fun. So I might not like the character uh, much. I think Palum is extraordinarily annoying. Uh, but, man, that LD looks too fun to pass up. So I'm definitely going to grab that. Nice. Now, I do need to be careful because these lizards have high turn rates on several of their attacks. And it's quite easy to find myself in a position where, um, you know, they can get a break on someone. And then they just jump up four or five turn slots. And then that's just it. Just GG from there. So, yeah. Just... Uh, Definitely need to be careful. Now, this all attack is a guaranteed AoE. Well, not guaranteed, but it is an AoE uh, Brave HP attack in the whole party. So, if possible, I want to make sure that no one gets broken. So, we'll just Brave attack with Pinello here. God, that's still hit really hard. Alright, now our dual cast should be able to save Pinello. Okay, perfect. To think I would doubt her. Shame on me. Or doubt him, rather. Palum's a he. I, I keep getting him and his sister mixed up. Okay. Um, right, let's put in swords again. Let's save a Hell's Judgment for after they give themselves their aura. Actually gonna haste Roomba. Okay. 
This way no one gets broken on B's all attack here. Because he's already battering himself up a bunch. <clears throat> a break would have been probably a, a, a dead run. Oh, a, probably. It would have been. Okay. Um, all right. Skill 2 buff back up. Absolutely 100% have to have that. I wonder, 65,000 is enough to take him out. I wonder if I can save the health judgment use and just HP plus A, and then Palum and Pinello then can clean up from there. Hmm. Nah, you know what? I'm not going to risk it. Alright, we'll use Balan's EX, which basically just amounts to him um, increasing his buff lengths uh, by three turns apiece. So, that's really the only reason I use that. Okay. Now this wave, if I play this wave correctly, these enemies won't even get a chance to do anything past um, buffing themselves. And that's pretty much it, because when they buff themselves one final time, they push themselves back a bunch of turns, and by then it's pretty much over. Alright, well, uh, that was HP. Beautiful. I feel like when Palom is doing more damage on his HP plus than Ultimatia. <laughs> Oh my god. Apocalypse. I'm actually gonna sit up here for a second. Ugh. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful second wave. So this wave isn't too much of a problem until the boss hits 50%. Once he does that, that's when he'll put up his frame debuffs, which is like the HP poison, uh, etc., etc. 
And at 30%, that's when he refreshes the frame debuffs. And he also dispels the party's buffs as well. So, yeah, I, I am on somewhat of a timer here. Now, I want to ensure uh, that I have enough skill uses left, especially with Palom and Ultimisha, to where after they do the buff wipe, um, I can still, you know, safely reapply my, my buffs and ensure that damage keeps up. Especially Ultimisha. Ultimisha, oh my lord, when she gets her buffs or her stacks wiped, she... <laughs> It's such a slow climb back up to relevancy with her, not having that LD to just get her stacks all the way back up immediately. It's tough. Thankfully she can clear those robots out, the minions, without any kind of trouble. Alright, we're pretty again. Oh, look at Pelham! <laughs> Dropping almost 70,000 on his base EX. Nice. Nice. Okay. Ultimate's just still doing some decent damage here. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, Protean Swords one more time. Look at Palom, man. Palom, I, he is solid. He's, I can't say enough about Palom, man. He is, he is solid on this stage. Um, I wonder if I should save Apocalypse, because I think his minions are going to be coming back out soon. Uh, we'll just pop it. <clears throat> oh, there they are. <laughs> of course, of course. Alright, there we go. Now the nice thing while the minions are out is that Ultimisha, her HP plus, actually does pretty decent damage, so I can live off that a little bit. EX available. Yeah, I'll do that. All right, we're getting close to that thirty percent mark. Ideally, uh, not that I can really control this too much, but ideally, Ultimisha's EX will be up here very, very shortly. Oh, nice. Palom taking the minions out. I did not think that was going to happen. Oh, yeah, her EX will be ready next turn. Okay, perfect. So when he wipes my buffs, I can immediately refresh her EX buff.
Okay, there we go. Alright, let's begin that slow climb back up towards relevancy with our stacks. <laughs> oh my god, what is going on with the frame rate right now? It's like dying. Oh my god, her Protean Swords is so bad now. Alright, let's haste Roomba, get her in a stance, and we can get intercession. Alright, and then we can switch back to Regen Waltz, get that HP regen back on everyone, start healing this poison. Summon. Alright, let's go with Ultimisha out. Okay, what am I at right now? Oh, 9600, oof. So I'm thinking I actually need to regen Waltz. I need to slap the HP regen back on. Because I'm at... Okay, okay, 4000 right now. We'll just, you know what, I'll just cure with Rem. I'll put me back at max, and then... Oh, shit, that'll do it right there. Okay, well then, yeah, I was just min-maxing uh, HP numbers there, but I guess that works out too. That was even a little bit quicker than my uh, off-camera run too. So there we go, guys. So, yeah, some, some things to juggle here on the challenge quest, but uh, Palom, I think Palom, Palom and Pinello are the MVPs here. Well, Altamisha, you know, it's... Without her LD, without her burst. I know she's missed some other stuff, but oof. <laughs> Just oof. Anyways, guys, so thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed an actually challenging challenge quest for once on my end. I actually quite enjoyed this. This was, this was pretty fun. Uh, good luck on the stage when you guys get to it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone. Stay safe, and see you guys again soon. See you later.